Hello everyone, this is Linda and welcome back to my channel. One of the more common Google authorization errors that I have been seeing lately is the one that says 403 access denied. Today I thought we would walk through this error, exactly what it means and how to fix it. The 403 access denied error message actually states that the developer of the application has not granted the user who is trying to run the application access to run it yet. This error message comes as part of the new application verification process that Google has been implementing. When you first create a project on Google Cloud Console, your application is considered to be in the testing phase. While your application is in testing, you are allowed to have 100 users log in and use your application. This 100 users is a static number. Once one user has logged in and authorized your application, that user then reduces the number to 99, and this will continue all the way down to zero you only have 100 people that can actually log into your application. You can't remove somebody once they've already logged in. Previously, there was no way to see how many users had actually logged into your application. Your application would just all of a sudden stop working and you would get an error message saying that you are out of users. Now, Google has implemented a way of actually adding these users. So if a user hasn't been added to Google Cloud Console as a user of your application, then they can't access it and they will see this error message. In order to fix this, it is just a configuration issue. You go to Google Cloud Console for your application on the consent screen and you can add new users here. Remember, you can only add them. You cannot delete them. So don't mistype an email address. So the 403 access denied error message is actually just a configuration issue. You need to add each test user to your application in Google Cloud Console as you want to grant them access in order to test your application. Remember, you only have 100 test users, so use them wisely. And when your application is completed testing, don't forget, you'll need to verify it. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick video, and I hope you consider giving it a like, sharing it, and subscribing if you enjoy my content. And as always, I hope you have a really great day.